Okay, reporting January 31st, really encouraging news. This is globally, since the vaccine has been out for, uh, I guess, about six weeks. So people are getting uh, second doses. And this is a seven-day moving average of daily new cases. Steepest drop we've seen since this came out. And over here on daily deaths, looks like that's peaked. The more encouraging stuff is the UK, where it's been out uh, one week longer than the US. Um, so they were get vaccinating people in the second week of December, I believe. Look at the steepness of that. Since the second dose were being given right around in there at that peak number, since then, um, as they're vaccinating more and more people, look how steep that drop is. I mean, if it keeps at that same line, you know, by St. Patrick's Day, the UK will be back open and in business, I would think. Um, well, you know, un, un, uh, will be opened up and the death, daily deaths, that's starting to trickle over the top. Um, let's go back to the US of A. <laughs> See something similar, although they've had the vaccine for, uh, we've had it one week less than the UK, but you see the seven day moving average is in a good decline. Um, that curve continues that way out. It looked like, uh, unless we get a sharper drop, but that might be sort of end of May maybe till, uh, till we've got this well in control. And like with the UK, the, um, the, it looks like the daily deaths are beginning to drop as well with better treatments, better you know vitamins that we know about and all that. So I'm encouraged um, that we'll be able to open up um, by Memorial Day.